Hey, what's up, YouTube? In this video, I'll be showing you how to make a The Odd Ones Out statue. You would be surprised at how difficult it is to make a statue look good that is pretty much entirely made out of white. It's tricky. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please do remember to hit that like button. I'd really appreciate that. It helps the video and me out very, very much. And if you do enjoy this sort of stuff, please subscribe and click the little bell next to the subscription button. That'll ensure that you get all my stuff sent directly to your sub bar. But without any further ado, let's get started. So to make this build everybody you will need white concrete, light grey concrete, black concrete, red concrete and also grey concrete. Once you have all five of those materials we can get this thing started. We're going to begin by placing 13 white concrete extending upwards from the ground. One, two, three, four, five. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. We're then going to extend to the right by 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And we want to connect all the way back down to the ground. Which may take a moment or two. There we go. So we want to take the two white concrete blocks that hit the ground and we want to extend them each inwards by three. One, two, three, and one, two, three. There should be a gap in between the feet here. We want to raise up all of these white concretes until they eventually hit the horizontal row of white concrete that we placed earlier. So the reason that there is a split between the legs is because considering the fact that this guy is basically just pure white, we, we kind of have to have some contrast in here. So I figured to separate the legs and the arms would be a good idea. We are also going to make the feet a little bit more detailed by extending the two bottom rows of the feet forwards by just one row like this. That's perfect, and that gives us pretty much the legs. We have to make the torso, which is very, very easy. That is 11 rows of white concrete stacked directly on top of what we already have. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And we have to make all of those rows up, of course. So uh, I'm just going left to right. You can go up and down. Whichever way you really want to go is the way that... I would suggest going. Once we eventually, and I do mean eventually, get all the way up to the top of the torso here, we can make the head. So the head is probably the most detailed part of this build. It begins one row inwards from the top left hand corner of the torso, so here basically. Place yourself a white concrete and then extend it upwards. And then left, and then up, and then left up by four you then want to go right up place a light gray concrete to the right white on top six white concrete going right one two three four five six stick a light gray concrete underneath place a white to the right down right and then down by four one two three four you then want to go left, down, left, down, and then all the way left. So essentially this, it basically just like a white watermelon is how I'm imagining this. It's kind of the same shape. So now that we have done this, what we have to do is make a mouth. The mouth is rather easy. We want to place a white concrete extending inwards from both sides of the empty row at the base of the head. Red concrete in between, black on top, Extend left and right. Place an entire row of white on top of this. Black concrete on the ends of the row of white. Dark grey concrete on top of the black. Black on the outsides of the two rows that we made. And then just to finish this off, just to give James eyebrows, we want to... There we go. Light grey concrete like this. Extending inwards from both of the white both of the pre-existing light gray concrete so we can then fill the rest of the head in using white concrete just like this and then that will be the face which is again the most detailed part of this build looking pretty good 
So we also have to make the arms. The arms are a key feature of this build as well. So the arms start where you would expect them to, all the way up the top left hand corner and the right of the torso. We want to start off by placing a row of one, two, three white concrete extending outwards. We're doing the left arm first, or technically his right arm. We're then going to extend that block down, left, down, left, and then down by seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then right, and then down, right, down, join back. We then want to extend up by three. One, two, three. We then want to extend left, up by seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Join right. You can fill the center of this in using white concrete. You don't want to fill the gap in there. The gap is there for a reason, just so that we can basically see the arms. And it's supposed that you might often see him in as well. So uh, yeah, it's, it's, it just works out quite nicely. So now that we have that arm taken care of, we are going to do the other arm. And it's the exact same, except it's just mirrored. So the top right hand corner of the torso here, extend outwards by one, two, three. And then we're gonna go down, right, down, right. And then down by seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then left, down, left, down, join back. Up by three, one, two, three. We then want to go right, up by seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Join back. And then we can fill the outer part of the arm in using the white concrete, just like this. And just like that, ladies and gentlemen, we've actually made the majority of this statue. Very well done. That's the, the hard part completely done. So the next thing that we're going to do is we're just gonna make this 3D because this is very much a pixel art at the moment, which is very creepy because the face is also on the back. We're gonna have to we're gonna have to sort that out. So skin statues typically are four rows thick. So we're gonna extend the feet backwards by three rows. That's one, two, three, and across, join back, one, two, three, across, join back, like this. We're going to make the outline of the statue as well. By the way, the back of the statue is the exact same as the front of the statue. Only difference being is, there is literally no face on the back of the statue, for good reasons, because it, it would be very creepy. So, all you have to do is three rows behind, so that it's four rows wide, four rows thick, however you want to see it. Um, you just extend everything back, like this, and then, you just, basically, I'm just making an outline to make it easy to fill in. So you can see that that's the basic body. Um, I'm going to do the arms now as well. Um, a, a different way to approach this would be to take the, what I would call like the outline of the actual statue and extend it backwards individually by three rows at a time. Um, that'd also be possible. I'll show you what I mean in a mo. So... This is, this is my preferred way, just making kind of like the actual outline rather than doing what I, th this is also possible. So like you take the edge of the statue and you do like one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. If you got, I, I think that you can see what I'm talking about. Simply you extend the entire outline backwards and this gives you the exact same effect. There's no, there's no real difference really, um, except preference as to whether you want to do this or not. Um, Will this save you time? I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> so, you know, whichever way you want to do it, I've, I've kind of started it now, so... However you want to do it, I, again, I, I prefer not to not to use this method. I'd rather just make the outline, fill it all in. Um, in doing this, we're also going to have to fill in in between the arms as well. Um, basically where the armpits are, I guess. Here. Here, we're going to have to fill this in as well. We don't want to have any gaps. There we go. Okay, yeah, okay, perfect. That's that's looking good. The arms are uh, probably one of the, the more trickier parts of this, I would say, just because you do have that gap in between them. Uh, did I miss the... Oh, that's a good question. Actually, no, because I was extending the outline back. That's the only good part. Yeah, we don't have any gaps in the arm uh, where, where the arms are at all, hopefully. So, here... 
and here actually it, it really is just this this crevice here which, which is the kind of like a problem area we've got to make sure that we do underneath the hands um anywhere underneath is usually uh what i would call like a little problem area that you pro that you may forget to add uh some uh blocks into or at least i do so here we've got the entire arm to fill in as well Using the logic that it's it, it's better to get the bad parts done with first. There we go. And I think we've got the hand. Yeah. Okay. So that's all of the arms completely taken care of. Uh, let's let's do the rest of the body. Actually, let's do all the body. And the the legs are going to be tricky. Actually, we'll do the legs now. I'd recommend doing the insides of the legs whilst you can still access them rather easily. Uh, they just want to be filled in, of course, in the same way that all of the rest of the legs do. Except um, if you fill like the rest of the legs in, uh, you, it, it might just be a little bit tricky first. So again, we'll we'll take care of the harder part, uh, harder parts. Um, here as well, this will join all the way up to the bottom of the hand, which is kind of just um, at the side of the body. Yep, okay, let's do it on the other side too. All the way up to the top. And then that just leaves us, I think, pretty much just the entire back. There we go. So all this can just be filled in. I really need that paint can. From Microsoft Paint just to completely fill all of this in uh, and then we just have the head which is of course very very simple we'll actually just we'll probably extend the head backwards for that um, you know how earlier I was like oh, I don't really like extending things but I'd rather make the outline and stuff for the head it might be a little bit easier because the head is uh, a peculiar shape it is it's pretty much just like a big giant white watermelon I would say or at least that you know pretty big giant oval however you want to say it whatever whatever comparison you want to make that's what it looks like so we're going to take the outside layer of the head and we're going to extend it backwards until it overhangs the back of the statue by two rows now that should be i think six rows if you want to count one two three four five six yeah six rows if you want to count it but uh yeah uh, again, however you want to do it, you can hang it two rows off the back of the statue, or you can just count backwards six rows. And we're just going to do the entire outline of the head this way, and just for the interest of symmetry, and for a mild case of OCD, I want to do the side in, in equal proportion as well. Here. Destroy. Here, and then we just have to take the entire top of the head but I can't wait to fill the back of the head in because there, there is something very very unsettling about uh, looking at that face staring back at me I, I don't like that um, we have to connect the two diagonal parts of the head together at the bottom as well this comes out at the top of the back um, in the exact same manner that it is on the front as well Oh, on the front, I've noticed, actually, we, the head is only actually overhanging the front of the statue by one row. It should... In most cases, it, it overhangs by two rows. So, we might have to see whether or not that... Uh, whether or not it looks better adding an additional layer to it. But I've noticed that on the original as well, I only, uh, I only overhung it by one row. So... Uh, it might actually look okay just hang overhanging one row, but in typically speaking, let's let's have a look. Let's see if the two rows are necessary. So we're just adding an extra layer in front of the face because, as, as I said, in in most statues, this isn't strictly a skin statue because it doesn't conform necessarily to the actual dimensions of one. But it's pretty close. Like if if there was uh, the odd ones out skin, if there was a James skin, then it, it would be this. So, uh, or, ve or very similar. So here, here, it might look a little bit. What about what about leaving the mouth in? Oh, okay. That that looks at, that actually looks kind of cool. Okay, so if you want to, you can add another layer and then have the mouth sunk one row backwards, and that actually looks pretty cool. I, qu I quite like that. And, uh, well, ladies and gentlemen, that's that's the entire thing complete. We, we've done it. I do hope that you guys are happy with your statue. If you did enjoy this tutorial, please do remember to hit that like button. That really helps the video out quite a bit. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see more stuff by me. Click that little bell next to the subscription button. That'll ensure that you got all my stuff sent directly to your sub box. And not only that, if you would like to check out more stuff by me, we have a little variety here. That is the player house from the pre-alpha Hello Neighbor, uh, the game. Uh, we have Alex in a box, pop in a box. We have 
the Doofenshmirtz uh, Evil Incorporated Tower. We have all sorts of stuff on this channel, all sorts of cartoons, stuff, fun statues, stuff for you to build card system. Description below the top of the comment section, you might even be able to find some stuff there as well. Um, thank you so much for watching, everybody. I love you all very much, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.